All right, this is going to be a video about creating an adaptive component with a reactor point on it. So I'm going to do a very simple version of that um, just to get you started and then in a second video maybe show you some examples of those types. So what you're going to do is create a, a new family. So you're going to go to Family and New and you're going to scroll down to Generic Model Adaptive. So select the Generic Model Adaptive and click Open. And the first thing I'm going to do is change my background color from the gradient to white. It's just a little easier to see, I think. A little easier on the video. All right, so this is going to be a two-point um, adaptive component. So the first thing we need to do, um, if you orient yourself in this, you have one level one, and then we have two vertical reference plane, a front, back, and a left, right. Um, and we need two points to create this. We're going to create a circle um, that reacts to a distance from another point. So I'm going to come out and put a point element right there. And you'll notice that left that the level reference level is current, so it's going to place it on that point, on that plane. And it, I don't know why that doesn't show up, but it doesn't. If you click the second point, the first one shows up, which is a little strange. Um, I don't know if that's a video issue or what, but um, I'm going to go to modify to stop the point creation command. Then I'm just going to window from left to right around those items. And up in your ribbon, you're going to get a make adaptive. So I'll click make adaptive. Now one of these points is going to have the circle and one is just going to be for a distance. So the first one, this one that has number one on it, I'm going to place the circle on it. And I want to host it to this point and make sure that it is hosted. So I'm going to come and I'm going to use a model circle so I can see it. So I'm going to go to model, circle, and I'm going to set it to draw on work plane. And then I'm going to set the current work plane to this horizontal plane for that adaptive point. So the process was model, circle, make sure that it's set to draw on work plane, and then go to set and select that and that will make that current and you'll see it will outline sort of that plane. Now I can draw my circle. So I'm just going to left click on the point and draw out. Okay. If I don't do all of those things in order, sometimes the circle will not stick or be hosted to that point. And a way to check that is left click on the point and just move it and make sure that that circle is moving with that point because we want it to move. So now I'm going to put a radius parameter on this. So I'm going to select the circle and it's going to give me a radius dimension and I can left click on this icon, this dimension icon to make that permanent. So now that's permanent. I'm going to come in and I'm going to just select the dimension itself. So left click on the dimension line, not the number. And we're going to come over and under label here is a create parameter option. So if I create parameter, I'm going to come in and just name this one radius. And I'm going to make it an instance parameter. It needs to be an instance parameter because it's going to be a variable size uh, when the reporting parameter pumps its formula in there. So we're going to make that an instance parameter. Click OK. Now I'm going to do a dimension between these two adaptive points. And the dimension that I'm going to do is going to be a reporting parameter, an instance parameter, and it, the dimension needs to go from this point to that point. It can't go from the plane, it can't go from a reference point, it can't go from anything. It has to go from the adaptive point to the adaptive point. So I'm going to create a dimension, go to the create, and I'm going to pick a line. And I'm going to come down and pick this point, and then pick that point, and pull that dimension off, and then click in blank space. I'm going to go to modify to stop the command string, pick the dimension, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add a parameter to it. So creating a parameter, and we're going to name this REP for report, and we're going to name this an instance parameter, and we're going to make it a reporting parameter. And basically what that means is it can be different sizes and it just talks. 
it just says this is what I am um, it just listens to that and tells what it is it doesn't change anything it just observes right so I'm gonna click OK there so now I have the REP and the radius now I'm going to set up a relationship between this parameter and that parameter by going to my family types dialog box and in my family types dialog box here's the radius and there's the report so what I want to do is connect the radius to the report so if I come over here I can say that the radius equals REP um, times 0 0.05 Okay, so it's just a little bit of math, and now you'll see that's four inches, so that would be the radius. And click OK. And you'll see now that radius shrinks down, and if I pick this and move it, that circle changes size, right? And so the further away it gets, the bigger that circle gets. So now we want to apply this onto a surface. So we'll do that next. I'll go ahead and save this. I'll just save it to my desktop, which I think is a bit of a mess, but yeah, save it as circle, CIR video, okay? All right, when we come back, we'll place it and uh, repeat it.